Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can edit PDF files in Office 365 directly in the browser. There is in fact a way to combine PDF files to transform existing Office files into PDF and then you can even stick comments or draw on the PDF files. Let's check it out together and I'll show you every step how you can do that. Here I am on my PC and I have the browser open. I am in the website of Microsoft App Source. All you need to do now to install Adobe PDF for Office 365 is just type in the search box Adobe PDF. Then the first item will be the right application to install Adobe Document Cloud PDF Experience for Office 365. Let's click on it. This is the page of the app that describe all the app does and there are all features here summarized. There is the, also the licensing topic and how you can install this application. Clicking on get it now, you have to provide additional information, your name and the work email, and then you have other info which are optional. Then you can click continue and then you will see a message that will tell you that this process will take up 48 hours. After this time, the application will be installed for you on your Office 365 tenant. Now I already have installed this application and I show you how you can check it. If you jump on myapplications.microsoft.com and if you make the login with your Office 365 account, you will see all applications installed for you. And there we go, there is Adobe Document Cloud already installed. Now it's time to check out this application in action. Here I am now on Microsoft Teams and I can play with this PDF. So now if I click on the ellipsis button, you can open this panel with all features available for this file. Unfortunately, I don't have PDF features here available. All I need to do is open the document library in SharePoint. Clicking on the right button, I will have now the view with the document library open it in SharePoint. Now all I need to do is click on the ellipsis button of this PDF file and I have this option available now, Adobe Document Cloud. Here I have three features, organize pages, I can export PDF, I can combine files into PDF. So this is very useful and cool, but these all three features require a premium plan in Adobe. What I'll show you today is free feature. Then you have to go on open and there will be this new option available once you install the app. Open in Adobe Document Cloud. Let's click on it. Here I have the PDF open now. Let's explore all three features available here. If I select this text, I have now this little panel available, I can highlight the text or I can strike through text or I can even underline text. And finally, I have this last option which copy this text. Now, if I want to highlight, I can easily do it and this text will be highlighted. Or maybe I want to just strike through. Here we go. I can even, as I said, under, underline this text. And there we go. Now I have the option here, save, because all changes that I made here can be saved. Let's explore additional features that I have here in the top right corner. This first one, add text comment. I can add text here. And if I scroll down, there is this table. I can add the text here. For example, I can, here we go. Here we go. I have now text written in this column. I can even resize this text box and here we go. Now it's time to move to another option. If I select the text that I added, I am able to change the color or I can even choose the 
on site. Now you have also this nice comments panel and this allows me to, to start a conversation on this, on this comment that I made. So I can, for example, another user can reply to me and, and, and write, yes, for example, you are right. And then I can start a conversation on the comment that I added on this PDF. Let's move forward on this other functionality. This add sticky note. If I click on it, I can click on the PDF and highlight this, this part. So here I can add the title should be different. And I added now a new comment connected with this point here that I added in the PDF document. If I click again on it, I can change the color. So I want to have a different color. I can pick up yellow, for example. And there we go. Another cool feature is the ability to draw on the PDF. We already have seen this highlight text. So I can easily select a text and I can highlight this text. Now I want to draw on this PDF. I have a, this nice graph and I want to point out in this graph. Now I can design, I can sketch, for example, an arrow. So there we go. Or maybe you can put the focus on, on this line, this row. So let me select the draw again. And now we have this part highlighted. So it's pretty useful. Another useful feature is the search. I can search a word here, Ante, for example, and there we go. All words are highlighted and I have 14 words found. Moving forward, I have this ellipsis icon and I am able to download this PDF. I can print this PDF or I can share feedback or I can sign out. I can read legal notice or I can get help. Then there are the edit button here with all premium features available. I can organize pages, I can combine files, export into PDF or create PDF. I made all changes to this PDF. All I need to do now is, is to go back on SharePoint. And if I open again this PDF, we can see that all changes are saved now. I have this text highlighted, then I have this text with underline, I draw this circle in this, in this sentence, then there is the arrow. Every change that I made to the PDF are here. So there is also the sticky notes and all comments here are available. Here I am back on my applications.microsoft.com. As a full disclosure, I would like to show you all permission used by this application. If you click on the ellipsis button here, related to add up document, you can have access to manage your application. Clicking on it, you will get access to this page that tell you basically which kind of permission are used by this application. The first one is sign you in and read your profile. In the second section, we can see that this application uses the Microsoft Graph API, which are API of Office 365. And here we have, have full access to all files you have access to and read and update your profile. All right, that was a quick tutorial how you can easily edit PDF files directly in the browser in Office 365. If you enjoyed the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. If you want to see me cover any other topics in the future, put a comment down below. I read them all and this is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!